posts and how to add the um, keywords and so forth that will help your posts get found on the internet. So we've already done everything we need to do for the basic post. We have the post in, we have selected a category, we have added our images, we have alt tags on the images, um, we have selected a featured image so that when somebody shares this post on Facebook this image will come up and uh, we have also selected our tag. So it seems really good. If you keep scrolling down, here you go to the Yoast SEO. And this is where you're going to learn to um, add what helps people find it. So in this particular post, there's, now there's a lot of different ways we could do keywords on here and probably multiple keywords we could use. We could probably pick something out of the tags. We might be able to use a keyword from the um, uh, from the category, but I am going to pick the title here, Tea Time in the Orient, as a keyword. Another keyword option would be to um, to use the uh, Art Neko stamp set name which is exactly what this is. So that's what I picked. I picked Tea Time in the Orient and I hit return and so we have the keyword in there but we also need to edit this snippet. This snippet comes directly, hello everyone, it's the first few words right off the top of the blog post and I don't think hello everyone is like the snippet you would necessarily want when somebody is looking for this stamp set. So I am going to uh, actually pick something right out of here. So I'm going to copy this and see how that fits in down here. So we have tea time in the, in the Orient. In the Orient. Um, Actually, I'm going to change this. It's going to be Tea Time Stamp Set. Because people might be looking for Tea Time Stamps more than Tea Time in the Orient. So Tea Time Stamp Set. I could see somebody Googling that, wanting a Tea Time Stamp Set. So Edit Snippet. Don't do anything with the slug. Leave that alone. But in the meta description, I'm going to write... Um, Tea time is Time stamp set is from the Tea Time in the Orient stamps from Art Neko. And um, this card is designed by Holly Brown. Let's see what else she had there. I put way too much in. Let's see, we're not going to worry about that. Um, I Let's see what we have, if we have much room here. Tea Time Stamp set is from Tea Time in the Orient Stamps from Art Neko. This card is designed by Holly Brown and includes a, let's go back up and get the right words, includes um, green verdigus embossing powder, and that's, um, that is part of our, uh, title tag, I mean our tags for this, so Vertigris Embossing Powder. Let's see if it all fits in here. By golly, it all fits. If you go too far, it'll get into red, um, and it, it makes it too long. You want it to fit like that. 
So if somebody is Googling, Googling vertigris embossing powder, this blog post may come up. If they're Googling Holly Brown, it may come up. If they're Googling tea time stamps, it may come up also. So um, actually, I'm going to change this to stamps. Tea time stamps. Because that is a term I think people would actually use. And I'm going to change this a little bit. These tea time stamps are from are from the tea time for are from tea time in the Orient stamps. Are, are from tea time in the Orient stamps from Art Neko. This card is designed by Holly Brown and includes rigorous embossing powder. Okay, I'm going to accept this. I think it's okay. The SEO says it's good. Very good. We're going to keep it like that. Don't worry so much about readability. Um, that can can kind of um, be tricky to do. And uh, I don't want you to focus on that. But if it says the SEO is good, that means that it, that it probably is. So um, that's what I want you to know how to do. You know how to do it.